Hello everyone. I'm going to talk you through the GCSE course for Religious Studies in Year 10. I'm going to start off with our expecta expectations, our main three core values, respect, ambition and determination, which are required in every single lesson. There is no coursework for Religious Stud Studies GCSE. It is 100% examination. At the end of year 11, you will sit two papers. Paper one, which will consist of Christianity, and paper two, which will consist of Islam. Both papers are an hour and 45 minutes long. Throughout the course, you will be studying eight units. The religions you will be covering are Islam and Christianity. For Christianity, you will be covering Christian beliefs, marriage and family, living the Christian life and life and death. For Islam, you will be covering Muslim beliefs, peace and conflict, living the Muslim life and crime and punishment. Throughout the course, at the end of each unit, you will be assessed on each one of them to see how you are progressing. A typical lesson for GCSE Religious Studies will start with a knowledge retrieval where we will be recapping previous knowledge from previous lessons. That will begin at the start of your lesson. Once you've covered that, the teacher will teach you new skills and show you um, exact, uh, model answers and new content on what you will be covering. We will, as a class, do a task together, which then you will be required to do independently. Once you've mastered that, you will be completing exam questions to ensure that you have understood the topic and you can apply the knowledge you have learnt in the lesson into answering an exam question which will be marked in the lesson and you will be given feedback. Skills required from a GCSE student studying religious studies is that you must be a good team player, you must have good communication skills, be confident in discussing your views and sharing them with the rest of the class, be respectful towards other people's opinions and views, be able to de debate and argue in a controlled environment, evaluate, try and understand opinions from an, another point of view and apply your religious knowledge which you have learnt on the course. As you can see from this slide, there are plenty of opportunities for students who have a Religious Studies GCSE. No matter if you are studying, wanting to study law, or you want to go into medicine, or health and social care, Religious Studies GCSE will be an important GCSE to help you get to your course that you desire. It's a course which will show your future employers or colleges how you understand the multi-ethnic Britain and how you can evaluate new skills which are transferable in other subjects as well. On this slide you can see the useful websites to expand your knowledge on the course content which I highly recommend for you to use as a extra studies for religious studies. If you have any further questions or need more advice about religious studies GCSE or you're not sure about something, please come and see myself, Miss Bano or Mr Murphy. We are all on top floor uh, 
best rooms are T12 and T10. Any time of the day, you will find at least one of us in those classrooms. We'll be more than happy to show you examples of pupil work, textbooks for you use, examples of exam questions, or if there's anything else you need to know, we will be happy to help. Thank you.